Well, it's more awesome for today, K. Just Reviews Incorporated. Here to bring you another video. My top 15 favorite and beyond right waifus. I will be putting this out there. One is Timothy on this list. He, I mean, to protect because she is 11 years old and she dies at 11 years old. So, you know, I'm going to have to keep her out of protect. But the fact of the matter is, let's start off with number 15, Ayana Laishi. If you don't know who that is, that's the girl from the Yandere Simulator game. Not much to say about her. I like her. She's not my overall favorite. I mean, she's definitely a cutie. The poor senpai in this scenario. I mean, <laughs> Number 14 is Jami Yumiko. And if you don't know who that is, the main character from, or one of the main characters from Katsuragi, Katsuragi or something like that, which, by the way, is that gambling anime where literally, um, <laughs> everyone in that school, every female in that school is legitimately fucking, like, insane. Like, a yonere, I'm sorry. Like, you aren't a kudir or, like, a sundere. You're a fucking yonere at that school. And every single girl at that school, for some reason or another, seems to get off on gambling. Like, it's a sexual thrill for them. I mean, like, listen, guys, I know gambling is fun and all, but it, who the fuck gets off on it, right? <laughs> Everyone in that school is fucking crazy, that's all I gotta say. Uh, the reason why I like her, uh, I mean, she's pretty cute. Um, not to mention, like, she has, I think, the craziest the face when she is getting, I guess, turned on while gambling. And pretty infectious personality, I gotta say. I don't really grow tired of her when she's on screen as much as I grow tired of the other characters. Number 13 is, uh, Merrick is the one that I was is protected. Um, is Mariko Kawazawa from Elfin Lead. She is, is the director's daughter. She is a Diclonius, which if you don't know, it's the main species or the alternate species of humans in the Elfin Lead series. The reason, and her obsession is around really about her family and her father, since she never knew her father. Um, the reason, I say that if she would have grown up further in the series, I mean, she dies at 11 years old in the series. She, she dies in a pretty tragic way, in fact. I mean, she has a tragic life. The life that she has been used to, which is being trapped in in this one room for her entire life in a isolation chamber. I mean, Jesus, right? I mean, yeah, so I felt bad for her. So if she grew it up to like maybe 18, 19, yeah, I could see myself, you know, dating her, even though that could probably end up me dying in some process, I don't know. Okay, let's keep getting on to the Megumi Shimizu from Shiki. Now, not only, so we have a couple of double threats in this list. What I mean by that, besides being a yandere, they either are supernatural in, in some aspects, or they have powers such as, such as Miriko Kawazawa, the Iconius, where she has vectors and all that type of stuff, good stuff. And Megumi Shizui is a vampire, or Shiki, is there called. The reason why I like her is, Really, just her and fresh personality. Um, how far she's willing to go to get the guy she loves. And really, that's it. The next one is Misa Amane from uh, Death Note. All I gotta say about Misa is, yo, I feel bad for her. I really do. I mean, why don't you go after like? I mean, I know the guy's like good looking and all, but like, he, he's a good asshole. I mean, a fucking douche. 
I'm just gonna say that right now. If I was in the anime Death Note, I'd probably be like, yo, me, so why the fuck you with him, though? But I mean, this girl literally says, I'll do anything for you. Number 10 is General Ezda from A Comic Guard Kill. General Ezda is where I go around saying, overall, bodacious babe. <laughs> Big titties, great personality, sadistic when she wants to be, very cutesy when she wants to be, and very, very scary when she wants to be. I could give you a bunch of times that she was scary, but I think my favorite time was when the main character, I forgot his name, first night together, she literally says, you're sleeping with me in this room, because she's the obsessed with the main character, and if you try to leave, I'm gonna kill you. Not only that, she is sleeping naked, and this is um, the first time he's ever technically meeting her. Number nine is Takami Izuki. I don't remember where that one was from. I I'm sorry. <laughs> what can I say about Takami is that she's really cute. I liked her a lot, and that's why she's on this list. I Number eight is Haruna Nik Nikawa from... Duradura, which, by the way, love Duradura. I love anime characters with red eyes, or genres with red eyes. They really, like, you know, drive it all home for me. Number seven is Anna Nishikonomiya from Sh Shimonetta or Shimonetta, uh, what's, how's it go? Shimonetta. In a world, in, in, a, in a world where concepts of jury jerks do, does not exist, Anna is one of the anime genres that I kind of like for one reason, is because she's not overly based on killing. What I can definitely say is that she's more obsession based and more lust based. Number six is Rika Aju from Good Luck Nimiokum. Again, this is one of those triple threats. She, not only is she a leader of a powerful, of uh, Aristotle, a powerful company, uh, she's a yandere, and she's a succubus. So he got a three, he got three, he got three triple threat right there. Fuck. Um, what do I like about her? She is cla classically funny. Up until the parts where you actually find her, see her yandere self. Which, by the way, her yandere itself was terrifying. Um, not only does she try to kill the friends that she's made, she also tends to kill the main character, who she's in love with, and and she also kidnaps him and forcibly tries to rape him. But her character arc is kind of funny. I like how in the end that she ends up like kind of going back to normal. Number five is one knows her as the queen of Yandere, Hino Gasai, the beautiful pink haired Yandere of Future Diary. Or me, right, Nikki. Don't fuck with this chick, is all I gotta say. But you know, definitely <laughs> um, is crazy as fuck. Number four is Yuri from DDLC, or Tokyo Killer Club. What can I say about Yuri is. No, it's rare to find a Yandere not hurting others, but hurting themselves. I've never seen that in a Yandere before. I've heard a Yandere is like hurting other people and then maybe the past of their lover, but never hurting themselves. Also, I felt really bad in the game because I played the game three times. And I felt really bad when I played the game. And there's a part in the game where Yuri asked you to be her boyfriend and depending on what your answer is you're still gonna get the same thing even if you say yes or no i felt so bad because i pressed yes every single time i press yes and never press no well i pressed no the second time because i think maybe if i press no she would like survive or not but no she ends up killing herself number three lucy aka kai day from up and lead. She's the main character. Obviously, the main slash character. Um, she is definitely not person to fuck with. She's the queen of the Diconiuses. In the manga, she has 23 vectors with a range of 2 meters. In the 
anime, she has like four vectors with a range of like two meters. So, another three obviously is one of my heart. I would definitely love to have kids with her. Obstruction, <laughs> whatever. Number two, I'm going to say is Shiro for reasons, and Shiro's from Dead Man 101. What am I going to say about Shiro, but other than this? Shiro, my god, the level of Yandere's I think hasn't been compared. So this is what she does. Just to get Ganta Iragashi to D Dead Man 101, she murders entire class, frames them for the murder, then murders people at Dead Man's Wonderland theme park. And I think the, I think the most beautiful line of hers ever was, I'm not gonna die unless it's you killing me because I want to be killed by the person I love. Which, by the way, kind of beautiful, kind of fucked up. It's all at the same time. I liked it, and I can't wait to finish the manga that's right there. And number one is Monica from DDLC. Fuck y'all who says that's basic. Uh, Monica is... She's a Yandere that all Yandere should subscribe to be. A Yandere, in my opinion, is, some, is someone who's obsessed with someone to so go to extremes. Meaning killing for that person or, do, or doing whatever they have to to get with that person. Um, even by means kidnapping and raping that person, which is fucked up, but Monica is in a video game. She becomes self-aware, starts messing with all the other characters, so you, the player, have only her to pick. Then it comes to the phrase, just Monica. Then finally, after you delete her, she realizes the errors of her ways, and when she sees that one of the other characters starts to go like her, she deletes the game entirely. Now, I'm going to tell you that right now, a Yandere who's learned from the, the errors of her ways and ends up saving you in the day is best girl at, at the end of the day all the time, okay? That's all I gotta say. A Yandere who ends up wearing yellow, being a Yandere and being the way I am is kind of fucked up. And then realizing, yo, that bitch is about to come like, be like what I used to be. Fuck no, and saves your ass. That's the that's the main girl. That's the one you want to be with, and that's why Monica is my favorite. There is one honorable mention on this list, and it's Love Tyrant Akane Himajima. Sorry, no, Akane. Akane Himajima. Um, the reason why I picked her as my honorable mention is she is very very beautiful, very very sadistic, and I've noticed that. She's both sagey if she if he cheated, and then also she's the only honor that actually fucking scares me. Like, I'm not I'm not really afraid of the honor. This is the only honor I'm afraid of. For one scene, and one of my favorite scenes is it's actually my favorite scene with her in it. And I'll explain it real quick. Uh, there's a bunch of robbers, you know, robbing a bunch of people. And they beat the crap out of the Seiji, or they punch him and they beat him up and hurt him. And she comes in and says, what happened? What's going on? These guys beat up Seiji. And she's like, she just goes full Yonari mode and starts kicking the crap out of them. And uh, she has a knife to the, one of the guy's throats and says, oh, you hurt my Seiji. I hurt you back. Only the person who can hurt and kill my Seiji is me. I'm like, damn! Yeah, I don't fuck with that bitch, no. But that's why Akane is definitely an honorable mention. She just couldn't make it to the list because, I, other than that, I don't really see any redeeming factors in her. I mean, I do like her. It just. I mean, she scares me too much. That's all I gotta say. And she scares me too much that I probably wouldn't approach her. There we go, guys. Okay, that's my top 15. Yandere Waifus, I hope you all enjoyed this video, I hope you all do subscribe, like and comment, I will see you in the next video, peace out.
ほうでは十分近づくがよい。